Uh, of course, that's the thing uh, that caught, I think, all of us here at the university by complete surprise. I know it did me. I, I didn't have the faintest idea. Now then, uh, I know people said and uh, people wrote that I should have known. If I'd been close to the kids, I would have known this. All right, let's see. Why would I be suspicious of these kids? Uh, in the first place, they won. Uh, they lost five or six games during the time they were here. And look at all the games they won. They won the NCAA twice, the NIT, the uh, Olympics, and uh, four Southeastern Conference championships. Now, if I was going to be suspicious, what is a guy at Tennessee and Vanderbilt and these other schools thinking about? What is a guy at Purdue and Indiana and Northwestern and Notre Dame and all those other schools thinking about? Why would I be suspicious? I one time talked to Helen King about this. And I said, Helen, I said, my team isn't playing the way I'd like to have them play. And we talked for quite some time. And she said, well, Adolf, you'll be ashamed of yourself talking like that. She says, they win all the time. I said, I know they do, Helen, but still they don't play the way I want them to play. Well, that always hung in the back of my head. I should be ashamed to criticize them and hear they're winning. Uh, so uh, when you think that I should have been suspicious, if I was suspicious, what were all these other coaches thinking about? We were at least winning. Well, yes, it caught me by complete surprise. I, I, it caught everyone here. We talked about it. We talked about it. We talked about it. I, I remember at the office several times. Uh, in any way could it be involve us? And we all reached the same conclusion. There's no way that it could involve us. And when it hit, I tell you, it knocked us all cold. Rupp always felt two other teams before that time would have won national championships had they been given the chance. Well, I tell you, I feel, I feel if our 50 team had been invited, in those days they invited teams to the NCAA. Uh, but uh, uh, they, uh, the man at Virginia, and I know his name, I'm not going to mention it because the poor fellow's dead now, uh, at that time selected uh, the representative from this area to go. And uh, he was a guest at the uh, tournament down at Raleigh, North Carolina, and they royally entertained him. I found out about that. Well, I called him because we were playing in the Southeastern Conference Tournament in, uh, in Louisville. And I said I thought we ought to go for the simple reason we'd won it twice. Well, they picked North Carolina State. I knew they would. If they, we didn't go, they'd pick them. Well, they went up there and they got slaughtered unmercifully. Well, the next year, they picked us again. We went up there with sophomores and won the thing. And that was Hagen, Ramsey, Sharapas, and Spivey, and that crowd. And we won it with sophomores. Well, anyway, <coughs> uh, I think that team, a 50 should have won it, and I and would have won it. I know they would have won it. All in, I'll, I'll just feel all along they'd have won it. And, of course, uh, Hagen, Ramsey, and Sharapas, and that outfit would have won it because we were deep at that time. And they just uh, went through undefeated. Never, never, never even had a close game. And I'm sure they would have won it. Yes. Uh, if it hadn't been for the Courier Journal digging up uh, the fact that these boys had enough credits to graduate, uh, they would have played in the tournament. We did not know it here at Kentucky. Now, that is a fact of the case. And we would have played and entered the team in the tournament. The undefeated team Rupp referred to was the 1953-54 team, which compiled a perfect 25-0 record. Coach, uh, they say that team voted 9-3 to, to go ahead and go on to the tournament, but 
being uh, the dictator that they said you were at the time, you overruled their vote. True? No, 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 no. That is absolutely wrong. Uh, the athletic board voted not to go uh, because without Hagen, Ramsey, and Chiropolis, uh, they didn't think we had a chance. They thought our record was good enough that we ought to leave it stand. And I did not because I made the statement in the dressing room at Vanderbilt that night in front of the Nashville sports writers that if the pressure were sufficient, I thought the boy should go. And Mr. Shively turned to me and said, Adolf, you know better. They have already voted not to go. And we had the typewritten statement, a mimeograph statement, we handed out, we had 50 or 60 copies we passed out there. It was decided before we ever went to, the, to that uh, playoff with LSU.